Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I view, test out, and demonstrate various VSTs. For today, we are looking at the ROM Play 2. Big surprise, it's a free Rompler VST plugin. So, let's jump into it. I actually haven't used this one yet, so I'm kind of excited to try this one out. Um, so, let's just jump into it. So, as you can see, we have a bunch of different options here. Huge list, actually. As you can see, all organized. And let's just go into it. So, we have Blue Ballot to start it off. I like the LFO. Now, I can adjust these here, it looks like. Seems like there's already an LFO on it. And then we have filter type and voice mode. So it looks like, I think these are meant to be keys. So almost like a piano. Wow, I like a lot of these sound qualities. So I, they can be layered, it looks like. So waveform, so I can adjust that. That's kind of cool. Well, not really. It doesn't seem as much on this part. And as you can see, it seems like the, for a lot of these, there's a lot of different layers to each one. It looks like we have keys, some leads. Uh, I think that's probably saying scents, effects, pads, and textures, I'd assume. But we'll see. We'll get to there. So let's now jump to uh, some leads. We got Mercury Pole. A lot of these have a very long, um, like, it seems like almost like a delay or reverb. Is there any... I see, I don't know why that's so high. So it seems like almost this is very good for, like, uh, atmospheric stuff. I don't know, I don't know why that release is so high. As you can see, it kind of... I really wish that that release wasn't Mosquito Butt. <laughs> That's probably the most ridiculous name I've heard for like a synth or a patch or a preset or whatever. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm just picking random ones. That's cool. But yeah, it's, this seems a lot more like a uh, an atmospheric type plugin. Like if I was doing some of like new age music, or if I just want something atmospheric and like the background of my tracks. So we might as well go to the pads. I feel like these are probably gonna be pretty good. Let's do Get Out, great movie. Ghastly. <laughs> Grim Steel. See, I don't... Why are these releases so long? Ooh, I like that one. That's cool. Uh, sad Space. A lot of these seem like they take a while to get to, like, the point. Very long attack, even though the attack's low. Um... Wait, we're already... Okay, so it seems like depending on where I actually open it up, it moves around. All right, so we're over here now. Mm. Zoom core. Oh, that's cool. So some of them I actually really like. Some of them I'm like, eh. But I guess that's, that happens anytime you're using, like, a Rompler. It's kind of weird that this changes depending on maybe, like, where it's located in Ableton. It's kind of weird. Um... So let's now go to some effects. Uh, let's try a liquid beta. I turn it pleasant. Ooh, these, these be kind of cool for like a horror song. Or like a sound effect. Well, I mean, it is an effect. But like, if I was making like a score for like a cartoon or something, let's try like Drill City. Very, very patty though. I feel like a lot of these are layered with a lot of different other elements. So it definitely, like I said, is very, very just, I feel like even like the leads or even the keys have a very patty element. So I think this is supposed to mean synthesizers. So let's see. I, I love the sound quality of that, but it feels a lot more like a texture to me. That'd be, th th I feel like if I was doing some like mid-tempo music, like Rez or Drezzo 
Or there's kind of like Blood Tones, another good one where they make like dark house, dark bass style music. Be really cool for that. Triple X. Kangaroo Forgotten. <laughs> Yeah, that one is okay. Minimal bird. Very, very minimal. Orange pottery. This one, the waveform, I think would be quarter. But let me. Doesn't make the waveform, unless I'm missing something, doesn't make the waveform even affects. Hmm. And then let's try. Let's try now the textures. I think that's what it's supposed to mean. Alright, so this is like now very, very ambient. Style stuff. Kind of trippy, that's cool. I, I, I like these. Seems like we have some... This is just nothing, okay, so we can't really pick those. Some weird glitch, looks like. Some mag. Almost seems like some crack, almost seems like a vinyl crackling almost. Interesting. So, that is the ROM Play 2. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give this one, I think, I think, you know, I'll give it a 4.25 out of 5. I like a lot of the quality of the samples. I think the reason why I'm not giving it a high rating, though, is because I feel like when it comes, to, when I think of, like, a rompler, I usually think of, like, a huge collection of instruments for different genres of music and, just a, like, a hodgepodge, if that's the right word. Weird word, but if that's the right word, of just so many different instruments, percussion elements and samples, synthesizers and whatnot. I feel like for this particular rompler, it's more of... A patty, atmospheric, new age, soundscape style, just texture for each one of them. Even for like the leads or the synthesizers, it has still that kind of unique ambient texture, which could be perfect for your track. But I feel like I wish there was a little bit more that they added in from the rompler that didn't have that patty effect. <laughs>